here's the thing, too. It's so I'm gonna give you the, the background of the, the how the show, the, you know, the podcast is called Man School 202. Right. Um, the whole point of it was that I always say this. I haven't said this in a while, so I'm gonna repeat it now. Anytime there's a relationship and the relationship doesn't work, it's the guy's fault. Interesting. Now, and in my you, experience, that has been true. So go ahead. <laughs> but proceed. In, in, a, in a way, so even if you got, even if you dated some crazy bitch, right? Interesting. The your people, like I said, crazy is only as crazy as you let it. This so, is the thing about crazy. When a dude says to me they're dating a crazy girl, my first question is, was she crazy in the first course, few months that you knew her? Of course she was. Yeah. Of Some of them people, say no. No, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Hold on. Hold on. If a dude says to me, this girl is crazy, my first question is, what did you do? He go, what? And I was like, was she nuts when you met her? Because real crazy don't hide. Real crazy can't No, it hide. doesn't. No, it no. doesn't. But what happens I mean, is, is because people... my question is, because I'm always like, well, what'd she do that's crazy? It was like, well, you know, I was like, I cheated on her. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> she wasn't crazy. You disrespected her and hurt her. And now she's asking you to be accountable. That doesn't make her crazy. It makes you an asshole. Like stuff would happen with my ex and I would be in the middle of doing, and I'm like, oh, this is crazy shit behavior. But it was because the fact that I was in an emotionally abusive relationship. So we were reacting. The beta no, no, the no, 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 no. This is different. No, he wouldn't oh. have dared. He wouldn't have, uh. fuck, he couldn't have tried it. Yeah. Um, cause he did try to shut it down. So, but this dude, no, this is another, now this now is this, more, more on an equal emotional level yeah, yeah, yeah. on that. No, he wasn't a beta male, but I was in the middle of an emotionally abusive relationship. Right. But we were stuck in a cycle where he would do something fucked up and I would do something fucked up. And it got to the point that if he did something fucked up and I didn't react, he would freak out. Mm. And be like, why didn't you do what you always do? And I was like, because I was finally fucking listening to you. Mm. So he used to do this thing where he would ignore me. I think that's completely disrespectful, right? Right, right? And so, but he would ignore me on stuff that had nothing to do with me. If he was having a hard time with his family or money or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I had numerous conversations with him like, yo, just tell me. You don't even have to say what's wrong. Just go, it's not you or it is you. Or just go, right. it's not you. Give me a heads up so I'm not. Just right. give me a fucking heads up so I'm not acting like a crazy person. So he would do that shit, do that, and I'm like, fine, nigga. You want to fucking ignore me? Let's see how that works. So I would show up at the nigga's job. Then I knew everybody that worked <laughs> at his job. And he used to fix my car. But I would show up. I would either roll up, and I wouldn't come through the front or whatever. I'd go to the back because he worked at our dealership. Uh-huh. Everybody knew me there because yeah. I met him through our jobs. Right. So I just rolled up to the bay door. Call me. Hey, I'm not loud. I don't have to do anything. Right, just show up. I don't up. have to make noise. All I got to do is just pull up. So let me or, ask you that's some, would, that's some Sicilian mob style intimidation. <laughs> you or, just show up holding a fish in your hand. Right. Or I would show up to the house. Now, he knows the only reason I started doing this is because he said the thing that makes him the most mad is when somebody pops up on him unannounced. Right. So you're going to, so he gave you the so, key. He gave, you the keys he, gave me the the keys, he gave me the keys to the fucking kingdom. And he <laughs> knew what upset me the most was somebody fucking ignoring me. Right, because right. it's disrespectful and rude. Especially if you ever had your penis inside my vagina, I'll burn your fucking house down. So the big irony would do is that one, you guys were communicating with each other somehow, but you only somehow. listened to the evil details. <laughs> right. Well, but I also knew what his favorite foods were. He couldn't give a fuck. So like, I'm ignoring you and I'm showing up. They're like, oh, yo, you guys are definitely communicating. I mean, yeah. we, we heard both that get it. much. A therapist so, would say, like, good news is you're communicating. The bad news <laughs> is you're passive aggressively trying to kill yourselves. Right. And so there was one time where he pulled the shit, and this is probably Fucking two, three years of me knowing him. <clears throat> he did this shit again. And so I didn't show. No, this wasn't even a year into me knowing him. This was like. Oh, maybe, you didn't show up. I didn't show up. I didn't show up. And he called me. So he called Stop. me like a few weeks later. He hits me up. He's like, what's up? And I was like, hello. And he asked me to come over. Sure. And I get to the house. We're sitting there hanging out. He goes, hey, why don't you pop up on me? What do you mean? 
And that's well, when you, you see- stabbed him in the eye with an ice pick. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I ain't and then all he that. said, I love you. No, nope, he's never, he's only said in this, me and him went back and forth from 2007 to 2015. I can count the number of times he Damn. said he loved me. Mm. And it was on one hand. So, but I was like, but he was like, why didn't you pop up? I was like, what? He's like, why didn't you pop up? And I was like, because I was listening. Mm. You made it clear that you didn't want to talk to me and you didn't want to see me. So. And then the relationship started to go to shit. Oh, it was already too shit. It was already done. Well, you know what's what's since But this was year two of knowing him. I'd already yeah. done other shit. He pulled yeah. some slick shit with me. I had his name saved in my phone by his occupation. <laughs> and then if he called me, it was a voice recording of me going, this is a do not answer number calling you. Mm. So one day he said something disrespectful to me. And I went and I went, I left his house crying and got to my car. And I was like, wait a second. I'm going to go home and be upset. This nigga's been a good, good night's sleep. That's not going to happen. So I went back to the house. He let me in. We sat down and I said, hey, call my phone. He said, what? I said, call my phone. He calls my phone and he hears the voice of me going, this is a do not answer number calling you. And I said, what's my caller ID say? He said, my job. And I said, oh. he's like, why? I said, you know why? None of my friends know what your name is. All they know is you by this. Have a nice night. I went the fuck home. God damn. That's so some, let, that's let a military add, general strategy. Yeah, of dropping a in. dirty bomb and moving on. <laughs> but guess what? I still kept talking to the nigga. Hmm. This was year one. So of now, no- let me, let me ask you this. Why? 2015. Why? Why? What was, did you, did you come from kind of a toxic family life where you were kind hmm. of looking for that? So this was just something that you got accustomed to. It was me not thinking when I met him, I was 23. He was 25. He had his own house and two cars. Hmm. You man score 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't.